Hey everybody, welcome to The Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andres Salazar. Thank you for checking out my channel. This is the channel we talk about comic books, the art of comics, the craft of the world of sequential art and the business. And today, Comic Spotlight, kind of a new feature we're gonna be doing on the channel. Comic Spotlight, where I find some kind of a book that I feel is noteworthy, something to kind of share with you guys, and perhaps something that is not well known. Well, today's book is The Few. I found this in a 50 cent bin, and I picked it up, I checked out the art, and I was right away like, okay, I gotta get this book. <laughs> One, it's 50 cents, which normally this would be uh, five bucks, so you gotta do that. And also the art is really um, compelling to me, and working on the book I'm working on now, I'm looking for a new um, inspiration, and so I had to get this book. The Few, published by Image Comics back in 2017. It's created by Sean Lewis, who is a is a playwright, has done a few a number of plays, and um, plays that have done some got some awards, things like that. And he's done a few other projects with this artist, Hayden Sherman. Hayden Sherman seems to be a young guy, hasn't done too much before this. Uh, they're working now on a new book called Thumbs. Uh, but this is one of their first books, I believe, and um, really impressive, really dug it. So for the comic spotlight, today we're going to talk about Few. Let's dive down into it. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do it, brother. Okay, everybody, we're talking about the Few here today, and uh, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, this was, like I said, was, I found this in the 50 Cent bin, and I immediately had to go find the others. And this was a six-part mini-series, and I actually just found this yesterday at a shop down in Culver City called Pulp Fiction. And it was only five bucks, so I was super excited. This is normally 20. You can find this places, but um, I haven't read this yet because I just bought this. So we're going to go through issue one. But I just want to let you know, it is collected. This has been out for a little bit. I think it was 2017. Um, might be 18 by the time this is collected. Uh, bah, bah, bah. And um, super, super stoked that I was able to find for five bucks, dude. Can't go wrong. Great art. Okay, so let's dive into to this puppy here. What I really dug about this book was, well, the first thing the cover kind of drew me in, um, I really like this brushwork, which is really expressive stuff, you know, and it's not, um, it's not realistic. It's just kind of an expressive art. I really dug that and I like the color, kind of minimal color palette. So I was drawn by the cover and I'm like, okay, what is this about? This is kind of cool because the new book I'm working on now, Shangri-La States, has kind of a flick, which I'm not sure I like that name. You know, if you guys got a better name for me about a trailer park, Shangri-La Estates is what it's now, but it, it doesn't roll off the tongue. Kind of bugs me a little bit. So um, comment below if you got a better name. <laughs> so anyway, I picked it up. I checked it out. And um, look at this great two-page spread. I just really dug this. First thing I noticed, he's using some of my favorite stuff, which he's using the uh, deleter tone here. Uh, so he's using screen tones. And I really just like the look of this. Again, I like the brushwork. I love the uh, whiteout he's using too to kind of uh, give it some texture. So I was using whiteout. This really looks, to me, this looks like it's on paper, but it could very well be digital. So it could be a hybrid too, like what I do. Um, so the story starts out where there's this kid. This is a definitely a dystopian which I feel like there's so much dystopian stories out there now. Um, for the last, I don't know, gosh, 10, 20 years, everything has been dystopian westerns, you know? And I'm kind of a little over that genre. Even since like Wasteland, I don't know if you guys remember Wasteland, which was kind of an indie book that, that became a bit of a darling at the time. Um, there's just so many, these kind of genre, but Despite that, I'm okay. You know what? Sweet Tooth was a dystopian, and I love that. Um, that's by Vertigo, John Lemire. Okay. So anyway, I just really love the uh, the the art style. He's mixing the backgrounds with brush, and then he's using kind of a 
uh, looks like a pin, a tech pin, to do uh, the line work on the, the figure. Um, and I really like, again, the art, the uh, color scheme, uh, kind of a greenish gray olive um, with some tone and uh, the sound effects with this kind of a um, peach color. I don't know, I just really freaking dig it, man. I just really like it a lot. And so uh, I will be cribbing some of these little, little art techniques here. So he's, there's a person here, there's a baby that, that they're carrying that's got a gas mask on. We don't know what's going on. We don't know who this person is. We don't know anything. We just know that she's be he, she's being, I don't even know if it's a girl or a guy. I didn't even capture that yet. Um, yeah, it's a girl. Um, you know, and she is being chased. We don't know why. We don't, we're just jumping right into the action. Um, and now she's getting kind of hauled off to some kind of camp and there's a ghost, and we're kind of getting a little bit of background on uh, this ghost person that's dead that's kind of talking to her. So we got that going on. We don't know about the masks. There must be some sort of tribes. We don't know what, what it was what's about. But um, I just was really, I really like this too. I just like the, the graphic kind of look of this uh, and these little bits of uh, screen tone, uh, different, different densities and things like that. So really dig that. Um, now we have, actually the tone changes from an olive, now it's going in more, more of a brown. I just really think this is kind of cool. This kind of reminds me of like a um, a, a sand, sand guy from like Wasteland or some of those other kind of uh, dystopian things. So this might have a lot of like, McCormick uh, kind of the road flavor to it. Um, I also really like this, uh, these RVs. I thought this shot particularly is really cool. I really dug how this is, has, how this is kind of rendered out and this angle is really, really cool. So a lot, kind of some really neat world building. This is a great costume here too. This gives me some definite like kind of a European flavor, a little bit on the costuming. Again, great use of color. We know that there are these bikers that are that ha it's going on, rounding people up. He's kind of the leader of this gang. We're trying to figure out what's going on. So we still don't know what the hell's what's happening here. Uh, this is all great, man. I just really dig it. It's very got a lot of energy to it, um, and some some really neat style. So I just think it's. Just looking at it again, I just read this like two days ago. Just looking at it again really got me turned on. Really like this too. And then now we're going to some other parts and now we're gonna add a little bit more color. So here we get a little bit more color now that we're inside. A little, little bit uh, warmer with some more browns. And she's uh, she's got these two captors, you know, that that took her out in the woods, and we're trying to figure out what is going on and where's the baby. That's the next question. And there she is. Baby's fine. They're actually not bad guys. They're the good guys, and some one of these after them. And she's like, "Go get the suits." So uh, now their little cabin is being surrounded by these biker guys. So uh, yeah. Oh, look at this too. I really like this. I like the, um, I really like the sound effects. You know, this room, this gives me kind of a Sienkiewicz feel. This here. And a lot of these other artists like, uh, Toby Cypress, uh, a lot of these kind of expressionist kind of art, um, give me this kind of flavor. Even stuff like, um, Kyle Baker too. So... Anyway, super, super impressed by the art. That's really what drew me. I think that's what draws most people initially. And the story is intriguing enough to where like, okay, I want to read another one. And this is their little suits they're in. They got the baby, so they're gonna go out and uh, see the world and see what's going on. There's just a few of them left. There's some sort of a uh, thing going on. So, anyway, really quick video today, this week. Just want to share this with you. Try to hunt this down. Really impressed with this artist, Hayden Sherman, Sean Lewis. Um, he's got a got a neat 
kind of story going on here. And uh, they got a new book called Thumbs, which uh, I have no idea what that is, but I'm going to probably have to track it down because, again, uh, you can study a lot from this stuff and really kind of see what he's doing. Not only the design, um, the page layout, panels, great stuff. Okay, thanks a lot, you guys. Have a great week. Thanks for checking this out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I got videos at least two a week that I pump out. And if you like, uh, if you're intrigued by what I do, uh, check out my Patreon page where a lot of my stuff is public and uh, free. So you can kind of see some of my daily comics and uh, stuff.